Hey Flame Fam! Welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Jacqueline, this is my jungle, and today I am talking to you about four plants that I am just like seriously struggling with right now, and it's not for any particular reason. Like there are certain plants that I'm struggling with because they have pests, other plants that I'm struggling with because like I just seem to always struggle with them for some reason, and then others that I have no idea why they hate me. So <laughs> it's going to be a quick one today, but I thought it might be fun to show you the ugly side of my plants because I feel like we tend to just want to show the ones that are thriving and looking great and doing well and never want to turn the camera on to the ones that look like this. So this is my philodendron brandy or one of them anyway. I have another one in my greenhouse that looks a lot better than this one. So I, I don't know why I'm on the struggle bus with this one. I'll show you what she looked like when I first got her. She was beautiful and I, I don't really know what happened because I, I give her all the water, I do all the things that she needs and maybe she just likes living in Struggle City. I have no idea, but I think that maybe because the one in the greenhouse is doing so much better than this one, so it's very possible that it just wants more humidity than what I'm giving it, and um, it's just not really getting that here, unfortunately. So the one in the greenhouse is doing fine. I don't know, this plant, she's just, she's real finicky sometimes, and I can never really seem to get it down right. When I take cuttings and put them in water, they're happy in water. So maybe this is just one of those plants that either needs to stay in the greenhouse or needs to stay living in water. But I'm probably going to take her out of here eventually and do something with her because this is just sad. It's sad to look at, honestly. She's in the window with all the other plants that are happy and she's just sad. So I'm kind of overlooking at her to be honest with you so the next plant that I want to show you guys I did a video recently or not too recently but not too long ago either on my ficus collection and how to keep them happy and thriving and I had two different rubies one was like a lighter color and one was darker the darker one died and I don't know why and then the lighter one, like, she was doing fine, you know? She's literally in the same window next to all the rest of the ficus that are thriving, dare I say. And I don't know why she's like this. She's just, like, I literally just watered her, too. Maybe she needs to go into new soil, but she's just really, really sad. She looks thirsty all the time, but then I'm afraid that I'm overwatering her and that she's going to rot. And I don't know. I don't know like where where I went wrong with this one, but it's really sad unfortunately because this is the second ruby that I would have killed and I I don't really understand it because I have all of the other ones that are arguably more difficult like the fiddle leaf fig and the Altissima, the leaves are really thin. And this one just hates me. So, it's fine. I don't really know what to do with her. She's not rotted. She's like, looks like she wants to put out new growth. But what the hell do I know? Maybe I just need to like, let her drop all her leaves and like, regrow them. Because ficus will do that. It's good. Anyway, let me move this. The next plant on my list is one that I've had for quite some time. I do have two of them, two, not four, two of them, and one of them lives in my bedroom and the other one lives in the greenhouse. So you would think that like the brandy, maybe the one in the greenhouse would be like thriving and growing and neither of them seem to want to do anything. So talking about my Monstera Peru. So this is the one that you guys would have seen me repot a while back into the Becca De La Tanks soil mix. It did get hit a little bit with the thrips, so I did lose 
a little bit of it, but it has finally some sort of new growth going on, but it's looked like that for like well over a week now and nothing is happening. So I feel like I lose more leaves than I gain with this plant and I don't really know why it doesn't want to grow because even the one, like I said, in the greenhouse, she's got like three or four leaves. They're bigger, but they just, she, she just doesn't want to grow. So I don't really know. I've, I've taken care of like the thrip situation for the most part. You know, there's still some lingering here and there and I definitely need to go cleaning everything again. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. What do you want from me? I just want you to grow and have big, beautiful leaves. I love the texture of these leaves and I just, I want her to be this beautiful plant that I know she's capable of being. So that's that. The last plant on my list is one that you would have seen me in collaboration with Cellar Door Plants. They sent me this um, Philodendron Neon. And let's be honest, like I kind of knew that I was going to kill this. It has nothing to do with the fact that she's in a pot that doesn't have drainage because if anything, she's thirsty and this is, um, I don't know, this seems like it absorbs some of the moisture. She's always dry somehow, even though I'm constantly watering her. So I don't really know what the issue is here. I don't know if it's a thrip situation, but I have struggled with this plant in the past. And um, just get rid of some of these leaves that look really sad because thrips lay their eggs in the leaves. So there's that. Gotta love those thrips, right? So yeah, I mean, thankfully I still have this one little cute like half and half leaf that I really liked, but the rest of it's looking really sad compared to what it looked like when they sent it to me. So I've tried to propagate these before and they always just rotted and I just, I don't know, they're really delicate. I really struggle with this philodendron and I don't know why, because I have the Brazil and she's fine. I have the Mykins is stunning. I just repotted her in a video I will link for you guys up here somewhere. I don't know why. If you know why, help a sister out. Maybe she just like is really, really thirsty, like a lot thirstier than I think because, oh, I just pulled off a leaf. I go pretty easy on the watering because I don't want um, anything pooling up at the bottom here. So yeah, that's it you guys. These are my sad plants. And uh, that's my story. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. If you liked it and you want to see more content like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. YouTube will give you a little notification on your phone that I've uploaded something. And yeah, that's it for this sad video. Let me know in the comments below what plants you guys are struggling with right now, if any of them are similar to the ones that I'm struggling with right now. And maybe I won't feel so alone. Also, maybe like publicly shaming them in this video will force them to do something better than this. I don't know, like, you guys help me channel all of the shaming energy into making this plant grow. It doesn't want to grow. I don't know why. Anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that I didn't bore you to death with all my sad plants. So, I'm gonna go. I appreciate you, fam, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!